To kind of set the tone for you guys, special defense tonight. Um, well, it was a huge play, obviously, in the game. And uh, he did a great job uh, baiting him into it. And uh, great read on, on his part. And, you know, it comes through his preparation. Um, but uh, I'm sure it affected the flow of their game, you know, for them. And uh, anytime you get your scoring uh, on defense, turnovers are always a big part of every game. But, you know, pick sixes are, are – uh, are huge. So uh, it was big in that, in, in that situation, and uh, we really got into a good rhythm after that. You held them scoreless till the fourth quarter. Kind of your overall take of the defense overall tonight? Yeah, just real proud of them. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of courage and toughness um, to continue to invest in uh, whatever this was, this game 12, and uh, come on the road, hostile environment. Uh, they've been playing really well. Um, you know, as a team, they've done a great job uh, this year, and uh, Got a lot of really good players on that side of the ball. Jake had been playing really well. So, uh, yeah, super proud of our, our players, um, their commitment, their willingness to prepare, and, again, the toughness that you've got to show when you're going on the road to, to, to have a chance to win. Coach, uh, you did a pretty good job of showing one thing and then backing out into another, maybe confuse them a little bit. Yeah, you know, obviously he's, he's a really uh, well-schooled, very smart quarterback. And uh, if he knows what you're in, like any, you know, quarterback, uh, you're gonna make it hard on yourself, but uh, Jake's uh, he's like a coach out there on the field and um, So we felt that you know, that would be a you know Part of the pre-snap, you know game within the game Only one sack, but, but do you feel like they, you guys were able to rattle him a little bit getting pressure on him up front? Oh, I, I don't I, yeah, I don't feel like they stood back and you know had a firm pocket, you know um, you know very much so uh, I thought our I thought our disruption and uh, pressure was good. Coach, you were without Trey tonight, but got uh, Dex and Kendall back. How good is it to have them back in the fold? Yeah. So uh, other than Trey, you know, it's you know finally got some guys back and about as healthy as you're going to be during the course of the season. So you know that was a, a major part. You know um, uh, when those guys are you know at full speed and uh, again the depth in the secondary and we've been able to develop some depth here uh, throughout the course of the season as well uh, you know both the safety and the corner so i think that was big you know here tonight you know those guys up front in particular Brent, that goes to the end zone it's hard to mention this already but that goes to the end zone in the first quarter uh, was there more emphasis trying to trick back into the back row i don't know about trick but um you know we knew that they you know they like to have you know, take shots, you know, coming out, backed up out of their own end zone. So good job by Ryan, baiting them, showing them one thing and doing another. And, uh, uh, and you know, credit Ryan, too, for making a play and, you know, scoring. You know, seen plenty of them where they threw right to us and we don't make the play. So, uh, you know, good preparation by Ryan. Good, great play in the game. What does it mean for your defense to have played as well as you have on the road with all the outside stimulus that can possibly affect you with a road game? Yeah, I think it, again, it shows a lot of courage, a lot of toughness, um, you know, just the poise that it takes. And uh, I think we've really, as a team, have started to get into a rhythm and uh, really develop our chemistry on defense. And uh, where well, there's a lot of trust, I think there's a, a better understanding through game 12. Um, you know, where guys understand what the other guys around them are doing. Uh, some years you have it and some years you don't. I think this group is really, um, is really bought into the idea of, you know, understanding more than just what they're doing and um, to try to be a complete defense and a complete player. And, um, but, but come in here, that's a, it's a great environment for college football. And, uh, and, and they've been playing very well as a team. And they've had a, they have done a very nice job. And, Jake, Jake's an excellent player, and uh, so for our guys to come in and really uh, leave no doubt through three and a half quarters was, uh, I would guess that, you know, and uh, but, uh, super proud of uh, their willingness to commit and uh, work and, and again come at a better time, you know, just to really kind of get in, in the rhythm and hit our stride and come together uh, at the end of the year. Again, uh, the best players, the best units, the best teams I've been around just get better as the year goes on. And uh, you can definitely say that about this group.
Right. Yeah, that comes from more from preparation. Trayvon Henderson. Right. You, you got five non, you got five touchdowns to shoot on defense. Can you talk about what that means to you and your group to, to, to score points like that? Well, I think, I mean, I, I think it gives you a great chance to win and, and get control of a game. You create turnovers. One score on defense is a big deal. And, uh, and uh, so I didn't know it was at five. And I probably should have had three or four more. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I say that very humbly. But, um, you know, we got a lot of playmakers and a lot of guys that are going to compliment each other. You know, the guys up front playing well and the guys in the back end really understanding what, what each other's doing. Trayvon has interceptions in back to back games. Is he really taking his game to a whole other level? Well, I mean, I think his, 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 uh, his productivity and how he's been grading and his technique, all those things have, have improved. He's becoming a more consistent player, and I think it comes from a little bit better practice habits and a little bit more better film study. And uh, again, he's starting to come into his own. He's not where he wants to be yet, I'm sure, but uh, as a huge play in the game, again, back to back weeks, really great plays in football. Dabo got the, uh, the penalty tonight. Can you suggest Adam go with Dabo Lake Saturday? Who? Adam Smuggler after Dabo got the penalty tonight. Yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not at liberty to suggest anything. So, I got did, my own problem. Did you win a bet that he would, would have been the first one to get flagged? I told to y'all I told you all a long time ago, I'm fine. Right? <laughs> Everybody else just needs to back up. But, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Coach, uh, how did that, how did it change?